Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We have a special guest. We have Chriselle here. Yes. And I just did this glam on you. Are you feeling your fantasy? Oh, I need, a, <laughs> I need a Beyonce fan. I'm like ready to go. Oh, you guys, honestly, like this video, so I we're doing the intro at the end. So we're basically just like talking like as if we already we already filmed. <laughs> and it's weird. I'm like, it's like Inception. I feel like we're oh, like Inceptioning right now. I like that. Where it's like, we already filmed, but now we're like, hey guys, welcome back. Joining <laughs> our channel. <laughs> oh, can I say the thing? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I just want to say, and like and subscribe. I'll I, leave my links down below. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll leave my links, the down, links below. down below. And honestly, your links will be down below, but your Instagram, everything too. Okay. You guys, we're also here to talk about her new gorgeous book. Are we kidding? Um, Are you kidding? Under construction. So under construction because living my best life took a little work and I feel like, you know, doesn't, don't we all? We just have to. It's a work in progress. Yes. Life is truly a work in progress and the fact that you're writing a book about it that's like funny and cute and like, Spill some tea yes. is really cool. Those are all the things that are in You're the like, book. And those all have happened. <laughs> those, all yes. those things have happened. Yeah. But you guys, in case you guys do not know, obviously Chriselle is from Selling Sunset, soap opera, so many different things. You have a, had a colorful life. I have. And it's been gorgeous. I know. I'm I'm in a place where I'm really proud of all the different things. Mm -hmm. And I think that makes it kind of fun to then talk about the things that you used to be Embarrassed by absolutely, and like, I feel like no. it makes you you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And now I'm just agree. like, oh my god, I could literally the most embarrassing thing can happen, and I feel like at this point I'm like, oh, <laughs> who well, cares? Okay. I, I, we've lived, we've lived hard. But you guys, so that's what we see we're doing today. I glammed her, and we're gonna be going right to that right now. So We're gonna go right into this glam. Look how like, you're so fresh. Oh my God. You're just so <laughs> fresh and pretty. You're so sweet. I can't handle it. I'm very excited about today. Like I said, I normally do not go anywhere without at least a little bit on, I, but I was like, no, I want this full experience. You want the full fantasy, yes. the full experience. On When you're when you're on selling, do you have like a artist that helps you or do you so, do all that yourself? So we don't, um, they don't like, pay for any of that stuff. So right, right, right. if we want it, we do it ourselves. And we film a lot. So obviously right. I pick and choose when mm -hmm. I want to do that. I've gotten okay at doing it myself, but I feel like definitely for events, definitely yes, for like yes. days where I know I'm filming like multiple things. Yeah. Like, you know, oh, I'm going to the office, but then I have to show a house and you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's worth it. But then there's some times where it's like, we're just sitting in the office, uh -huh. like, I don't know. So I pick like, it, like, I, oh, yeah, I don't need so it that day. I pick and choose on the days where it's like, okay, like if I'm filming this many days a week, yes. like, you know, okay, let me do it like twice a week. I'll pick the m most important day. Yes, absolutely. Which actually yeah. honestly makes a lot of sense. I love that. By the way, you guys, she brought her own foundation. So it made it 10 times easier for me. I literally, whenever I do collabs, I'm like, can you please bring your own foundation? Cause I don't <laughs> know what the hell I'm doing. I don't want a color match. Oh my no, This makes it like a literally a zillion times easier. So I appreciate you doing that. Well, and that's why I have two different foundations because of color match reasons. Yes, 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 yes. I'm always like depending on how much I've been in the sun or like yes, spray tan or yes. I haven't been. So that way I just have like one that's mixture. a little too dark, uh -huh. one that's a little too light and then I just blend it. Do you, so would you say you're like more oily, combination, dry I for camera? Actually, I would say I normally can tend to be a little oily. Mm -hmm. But what's interesting right now, you're seeing me as, I guess because of the weather, I'm like really dry. Dude. So I was on the way here like pounding water. Yeah. I, was like, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> be crusty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so dead. That's so, like honestly very much me though because I'm the exact same way. I feel like I'm combination, but it depends on like the weather. So yeah, so maybe combination then I guess. Yes, so I'm like, oh, did like, I could have nice just said that and given you a, a quick answer. <laughs> Foundation on the nose. So you have to tell me about your book. I'm yes. so freaking excited for you. Thank you. Let me just say that. I'm really excited. It was kind of one of those things that started, you know, just as like a cathartic process. We were yes. in the middle of the first COVID lockdown. There was literally Ooh, yeah. nothing to do. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of going through, um, you know, just a difficult time. So yeah. I was just writing things down. And then they came to me saying, you know, I got offered a book deal. I was like, it was exciting, but it was work? also really scary. No, totally. I'm like, how does that, how does that even happen? Like, they, is it like just a team that's like, hey, we want to like write for you or yeah, publish for you? Yeah, Simon and Schuster kind of reached oh, out mm -hmm. and to to my agent. My agency has an umbrella for books, but I have never even like talked to them or anything. Yeah. So it was just kind of one of those things where um, it kind of fell into my lap, and then I was 
you know, of course, scared a little bit. Absolutely. I'd be, dude, I would be freaking screaming. It's overwhelming. Totally. And then once you really get into it, it was really fun. What would you say the book is about? Like, what's, like, in it? Like, what is, like, the best part of, like, the book? Like, what makes it different than, let's say, people seeing you on Selling Sunset or people seeing you, like, in soaps and things like that? So, actually, this book is, you know, you get a little bit about where I've come from in mm -hmm. my life before, but it, it's a tiny little snippet. You'll get to see, you know, just a lot of things that the people that have read it, they're so surprised by it. They're like, oh, oh my okay. gosh, I never knew that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's kind of strange journey to go from, you know, soaps to all of a sudden now I'm- No, totally, it's a, it's a big, it's a jump. It is a freaking jump, dude. <laughs> So, you know, that I kind of explained that, but then it's got so much fun stuff in there, like behind the scenes stuff. I think the moral of the book, what I'm wanting to get people mm -hmm. to see is that, you know, falling on your ass is part of success. A hundred percent. I thought it was like, like, I feel like sometimes it's more important to like, yeah. like you learn so much more when you fall on your ass yeah. than you do like when you're always like just succeeding. Yeah, because then it becomes like a, almost like a callus. Like when yes. it happens, yes. you're like, you're like, you oh, know what to do. Darn. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, shit happens. Ooh. Absolutely. <laughs> See, she's, she's already starting to feel the fantasy when she's coming together. <laughs> I, so the funnest part about doing collabs, like when I'm glamming someone, is the process where everyone's like, wait, I'm starting to like feel it. When you start to feel it, you know what yes, I mean? Yes, yes. Oh yeah. Sense. Like Definitely when you start to... for me when I get that like first pop of like eyeliner or mascara, oh, that's really yes. when I'm like, hello. <laughs> hello, I live here. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, it's literally the best ever. Hello, I live here. How did you start getting into real estate? Actually, I'm kind of curious about that. Like, how did that even happen for So, you? that's actually funny. So, I was in soaps, and then mm -hmm, in soaps, mm -hmm. I got written off on Days of Our Lives, where... Bitches. I, <laughs> I just kidding. So yes, I was kind of like to a place in my career where I was like, mm -hmm. I'm kind of tired of not being in charge of when I go to work. Oh yeah, You absolutely. know, like I was auditioning like you wanted for to things. Yourself. And yeah, and I just feel like I didn't have anything and I wanted to like be on my own where mm -hmm. it was like, I don't have to depend on anybody. And totally. it's really hard to do with acting because you know, you can do a good job, but the, there were new writers and it was just like, oh, they just, you know, they don't see anything for this character. So it was just one of those yeah. things where I was like, okay, what else could I do but still audition? I had always been interested in real estate. Mm -hmm. But it was just one of those things that, you know, you look at like houses. Totally. Like you're on Zillow and you're yeah, like, oh my God, I'm obsessed with these houses. Yeah. I'm never going to buy it. But yeah, here we are. like passively looking. Totally. So that's kind of how it started. And then, so I went and got my license and I was doing it as a side hustle. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, as the universe does, I went from, you know, no job to then I get my license. And then finally when it starts to go, then all of a sudden Days of Our Lives called me to come back and Wait, Selling Sunset came up to no me and way. said, would you be willing to switch brokerages and um, film the process of joining this other brokerage? Oh. So it was kind no. of funny, I, you know. Yeah, how about the same, like when it rains, it pours. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that so. is so wild. How were you like when you first got the call? Like, okay, I'm gonna do something sunset. Like, were you shook? Because I would have been like screaming. You know, I had a meeting with Adam Devello, who's the creator. Mm -hmm. He created the hills and everything. And oh, um, right, uh huh. So it was one of those things, you know. I, I mean, he didn't give me the full scope of totally. What I'm like, what? <laughs> I wasn't prepared of what was good. It really. <laughs> But, you know, because I definitely thought, I was picturing, like, real estate-based completely, you yeah, know? Yeah, totally, because totally. at the time I was joining, it's not like they were coming back to my house or filming anything. With right. My, with you know, so I'm life. like, oh, well, how cool to, you know, start, you know, try to take my real estate to the next level. Absolutely. You know, and I didn't mind if I messed up because I'm not trying to say I, I had, you know, I, 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 I was yeah. new at it. Mm -hmm. So I was like... Oh, well, that'd oh, it's be fine because I can fail and that's okay. Yeah, totally. Like, no one's expecting me to be, like, the best right now because yeah. I'm just starting. And so, anyway, so that's how I got into it. And, obviously, so many years later, it's been such a blessing. And yes. the way that it's built my business, it's just been one of those things. It's amazing because, mm -hmm. of course, I love the show and it's fun. Absolutely. But I love feeling, like, for the first time, like, no matter what happens with the show or not, I'm good. Right, and then I can just right. do, you know, so you that's can still, like, nice. You can, like, li like, it's, like, gives you this kind of freedom. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, yeah. gives you, like, a freedom freedom that other things might not like for example acting like you never know dude you well, really wait, never know wait I want to see what you're doing is this where you like give me that yes yeah, so now yeah so now I'm bro like now that's exactly what I'm doing I'm bronzing right. you now I'm taking the little she also you guys how cute is she she bought her own like little make it forever palette I screamed that's why I'm like I'm absolutely gonna <laughs> use this are you kidding me if you love it I love it, it. 
but I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp on okay. a little bit right here, just kind of give you some warmth. Okay, I'm stealing and blending your upwards. tips. Okay. Okay, honestly, when you went on the show, did you ever expect that it would be as wild as it's gotten? Like, how do you like <laughs> handle like real life, but then also like being on a show like this? Like, it just seems like so much, right? Well, it can be difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Totally. Like, there are times that have happened where you know you get to that place where when it starts to bleed into how you're enjoying life, mm -hmm. whether you know it's false stories or things like right. that, which yeah. just like like you drama see, or yeah, anything like that kind of happening. It just kind of, um, you know, there are definitely those times where you're like, wait, what am I doing? Right, like, you're like, I, wait, why am, am I here I again? enjoying this, you Yes, know? totally. And so I think just like with the key, with everything in life is to, you know, figure out what isn't working and get mm -hmm. to a place where you either fix it or you change it. Yep. And so that's kind of where I'm at. So I think I'm to a place where I'm like really enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And kind of, you know, figuring out ways to whatever isn't working, you know, to either, get rid of. Yeah, 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 or mm -hmm. just, yeah, just change. Or like, even like, with, with like, I feel like that also applies with like people or relationships or with like literally oh, anything. Exactly. Like, I feel like it's, you kind of hone in, right? Like, you yeah. hone in on, you're like, what do I really want? Like, is this relationship or is this friendship or is this, is this anything like feeding into what I love or is it like draining me? You yeah. know what I mean? You never really know, but I feel like that's the exact same thing with like doing a show because it's like you have co workers and you have yeah. co stars and you have all things going on. When we hang out, I'm <laughs> side of filming like there isn't drama but yeah. obviously some people aren't you know interacting with other people totally. so we, totally. you know people that get along hang out and if you like don't great. don't and so when you film obviously they get us all together and they like to turn that <laughs> burner up <laughs> on the stove they said let me just do a quick little turn yeah. up a little small turn up so it's also different because say you were in an environment with someone that you're not getting along with you yeah. just probably wouldn't you just, see yeah totally you just wouldn't hang out you, you wouldn't know do anything. so mm -hmm. it's like it's a little it's very different I'm sure a lot of people like always like to ask you about drama and stuff like that which I'm sure is like very interesting and fun I want to ask you like who are three of your favorite castmates and that you just like truly just love on the show as well like who are people that you're just like you're my person I ride it for you you know I feel bad because I love all of them of course yeah, well that's not true okay. <laughs> You said the one, I mean, let's be honest. No, wait, but I meant like the ones that I'm that I hang around, yeah. I love. Yes, that you like love. Yeah, um, you care for people. Yes. However, that being said, there are certain people that I'm not as close to because mm -hmm. we don't live as close, you know? Oh, so right, 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 of course. Like Heather and Maya, which mm -hmm. is just hard. So I would say for me, it's um, Mary, Amanda, and Emma. Oh, we just like yeah. have, we all mm -hmm. look close to each other. We see each other all the time. It just makes sense. We, yeah, yeah. Emma's single now. I'm single now. So right. we have a vibe going. Of course, Mary and Amanda are like my just They're your girls. BFFs. So. That's so. And then so yeah. is the relationship that you guys have like when you see on the show? Is it just as like amazing in real life? Like that's like your your real good girls. Like, those oh, are yeah. your Judies. Those oh, are your good Judies. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. I trust them with anything. That's so sweet. No, I really really like that because you know it's like I feel like with TV too, like you never really know what's like real and what's not oh, real. Oh, that's never, very real. You know, yeah. yeah. I, I figured like when I saw you guys, like your guys' interactions on the show are so genuine. They're, At least they come across very like genuine. Sisters. Yeah, I actually did a reality show recently that's coming what? out for on VH1 called Surreal Life. Oh, what's <laughs> that about? So, so, so basically, it's like a uh, different like celebrities or walks of life kind of all coming together okay. to like live in one house and like you guys all like you experience things together that's like kind big of, brother it's like big brother but oh. there's no like real challenges like there's no oh, you okay. do things together like you go out and you do stuff but there's no like eliminations okay so it's honestly like really wild because i like didn't really know what i was getting myself into right like going into it i was like well you know i thought it'd be fun i was like i told myself I was like, i'm gonna say yes more to opportunities but, like when it came i yeah. was like sure i'll try it right now why not it was so Hard. How long were you there? 19 days. And you can't leave, right? Oh no, this is like, you don't have your phone. Like <gasps> it's literally like one of those things where like you are you went dead to off the, world. the grid for I went 19 off the days. freaking grid, dude. Wow. When I tell you, it was very hard. They're not, it's not like a camera crew. It's like hit, you know, like. It's both. Oh, it's hidden cameras, okay. hidden microphones, and it's in front of you like camera people. Did you do anything you feel like? You're like oh, <laughs> so I hope they okay, don't use there's that. definitely been moments on the show where I was like, yeah. maybe I shouldn't have said that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's like I low key would like forget that they're there. Yeah, I'd be like, oh that's, wait, that's there's when cameras. it gets real they dangerous. Get me, they get me. <laughs> I'm gonna have you look up for me. That's when they got me good. I was like, oh my god. I just forgot that there was a camera right there and I just forgot that I was mic'd still. And um, here we are. And so I remember like there was a moment where like there was, I said something and I went to the cast. I'm not gonna obviously say too much. I don't wanna get sued here. <laughs> um, but there was a moment where I like had said something about like one of the castmates about something that they had done in the past. And I had no idea that that was like them, right? And I was like, oh my God. So I go run up to one of my other castmates and I was, my roommate actually, and we're in the bathroom. And I was like, dude, like, 
this is this dude, like this happened, right? And I was like so shook about it. And then I find out the next morning that there was microphones in the bathroom and I thought it was safe in the bathroom. So they I was put like, microphones wait, in what? The bathroom? Yes, no, and honestly, there's I was- There's not a camera in there, right? No, there's yeah, not a camera okay. in there. So I remember I went downstairs and like I went to their room and I was like, so listen. Yeah. I, ha I had to look, I felt like so awkward. I think that was good that you said it right then. Yeah, cause I was kind of like, yo bro, like, you know, it is what it is. I didn't mean, we're also on a TV show. Like yeah. I just wanted to like have conversations about what's going on. Like we're housemates. Like that's yeah. literally the whole point, right? Yeah, for So sure. I don't know if it'll be shown or I don't know what's going to happen, but yeah. I had to be like, I know what you did. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to know what I did. <laughs> So well, I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun because it was like a it was like a, sh a big show back in the day, like let's say twenty years ago maybe. Okay. And they brought it back, so like this is like the first run of them oh. bringing it back because it was like had like five seasons back then. It was literally just a ton of people living together. It was me, Dennis Rodman, Stormy Daniels. Oh, you you didn't tell me this. No, part. I didn't. you dropped the lead. Wait. <laughs> I didn't know what, this makes it so much more like, no, oh, so that was a crazy house. No, so that's, yes, so it was like, why, like, when I say it was wild, it was like me, Stormy Daniels, Dennis Rodman, Tamar Braxton. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. you so had it was an experience. An experience. That's what I'm trying to say. Yes, I experienced things while I was experiencing things. Did you bond with any of them? Like, you feel I like did. you'll stay friends Absolutely. with Absolutely, and I them? feel like we definitely, like, I'll even now, like, still talk to them here and there. It was wild. Yeah. Is all I can really say about the experience. Okay, is yeah. Is that it was wild, and I'm glad I did it because I experienced something, and I was like, dude, like, I, I did something that I would have, like, never done. Yeah. But I was shook. Did they make you do anything, or was, did they produce it to me, or they just let you go? They literally just like let us go see that's my dream it literally was like us like honestly just like kind of living in a house and they, they of course would like provide us meals and yeah. they would do things like that that were like you know normal but oh <laughs> oh she's giving cheek <laughs> oh the cheek is cheeking the cheek I'm gagged. is cheek. i just wanted to say that <laughs> <laughs> Not gagged. I love it. That that is the feminine urge to say I'm gagged in front of yes, a gay man. Yes. I love it. I'm <laughs> shook. You guys, by the way, I filmed or I didn't film. I filled in her brows off camera because this is like a step that I gotta do off camera. Because like I have to focus. <laughs> I have to make sure you look hot, like with the brows like looking good. And you had such good brows, we literally just used brow powder. That's exactly That's the one I have. No way! Yeah. Like this is literally just like all I did. I just tapped it in and just followed your natural, like that's all you need. You don't need anything else. Okay, good, because that's all I do too. I have very limited skills, and so when I see the people then they do, I mean, I've watched, it's like seven step video about brows. And I'm oh. like, I gotta worry about like trying to just like put just, some curls in my hair. I can't be doing the whole it's thing. It's too much. On you know what I, I come to realize too? Like I feel like being a girl, or just like society standards of girl is so hard. Like you have, like hair and outfit and makeup. And there's just like so many parts to it that I'm just yeah. like, bro, can you give them a fucking break? I mean, I will say I do love it. Obviously, it's fun. I think it's a fun it's part of it. Fun. Yeah, absolutely. But yes, there are certain times where I do think you should be able to choose. I do it because I enjoy it. I don't yes. think there should be mandates at work with certain mm -hmm. things where it's mm -hmm. like you absolutely can't. Or you have to wear makeup at work. Yeah. You have to do this, have to do that. Yeah. It's like, well, if you're not making the boys do that, then like you shouldn't be making the girls exactly. do that. Exactly. You know what I mean? Or like then you better be making them wear a fucking tie too. Yeah, right. Like it better yeah. be like an equal kind of for playing sure. field in some capacity. I always think that it's like, I mean, for me, like my career I've always been like against like societal norms obviously I'm literally like a dude who wears makeup with a beard like it wasn't like the most common thing years ago I feel like I'm just more aware I'm like yeah. more hyper aware of like society's kind of standard of things and like yeah. what they want but how fun to like yeah. enter into the world the way that it was not known or accepted yeah. to kind of feel and all of a sudden You've got all these fans, right. people are dying to know your opinion on things. Yes, and, yes. I mean, that's amazing. It, honestly, it is really crazy. And like, uh, like just like you, like, you know, like how insane, like the public eye, like it gets wild. Like it gets yeah. super, super wild. And you're like, oh my God, I wasn't actually prepared for this in any way, shape or yeah. form. Well, because there's nothing that really could prepare you until you're right. in it. And then and then you like, kind of oh. have, you have to sink or swim. Mm -hmm. You know, I, at least that's how I feel. I you completely know. agree. And like, a lot of people sink. And a lot of people swim. So it just kind of depends on like what you want, what your vibe, what you like want for yourself too. It's hard. And don't you think also that all of that that comes with, you know, with like fame or anything like that, mm -hmm. attention. Yeah. Don't you think it also, money, don't you think it brings out more of who you already were though? Absolutely. I think that. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's like just with money and like with like success, like there comes this almost like calmness that you have where it's like you're not worried about like student loans, like paying them yeah. back. Like there's so many different things that I'm like, dude, 
that I'm grateful for those experiences, but I know I'll never forget like that I was in the exact same situation too, and I had to like pull myself out of it. And it I know it builds you. It makes you really appreciate everything. It makes you appreciate it so much more. I grew up Mormon, grew up very religious. Like I was like, it was not like an accepted thing to be gay. Like it was very hard for me, like kind of growing up too. But I feel like I'm grateful for all those, all the trauma essentially yeah. because. Yeah. It's like, if I didn't go through that, would I be as hardworking? Right, no, I feel the same way. And I think that's actually what, I, that's actually what I talk about in the book where it's, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times the things that you think are against you, yeah. or, you know, working against you, they end up being your blessings. And yes, if you can start yes. to see it like that in the moment, then I just feel like it helps change your mindset a little bit. I completely agree. And I know like for you, you talked about like in selling like that you were homeless and like mm -hmm. that, you, that you've struggled with that. That's why I, I always felt a little insecure about like being able to be independent and not ever feel like that might happen to me again. Totally. Even to the point in my life where I'd been on TV for several years, but on mm -hmm. soaps, you know, it's not like I was like some actress that knew I was going to work. Right, I, right, I, right. You know, so I think that that was something that followed me that that kind of feeling of like I need my own type of business or company or something mm -hmm. to where I'm in charge of myself so I think that's why just having bought my own home recently that that was just Which is like so cool the biggest it's such a milestone it's such a cool milestone like that's amazing because it just be yeah it's just one of those feelings of having you know, come from that place where you don't always know where you're gonna lay your head to the place where, you know, I don't need anything from anyone, I'm good, I just want, you know, we'll figure it out, maybe, yes, maybe yes, not. Yes, absolutely, no, absolutely. I don't but know at least, mean. yeah, just the independent stuff. You know what messed us all up is uh, our, the Disney movies. You know, we're waiting on this man in a white horse mm -hmm. to swipe in, and just so people us. are, you know, thinking about getting their own homes, or they're not mm -hmm. thinking about investing, or things, at least, where I came from. Like, right, wasn't, no, absolutely. That was something that the men were taught, you know? Right, like it's not... I the, feel like we mm -hmm. had to play catch up a little bit where it's like, wait, like we need to be thinking just like a man. That's so, so, so important is to be so... Because like, what if like, for example, like housewife who doesn't have, you know, what let's say like the man might have in like the relationship, but then he leaves her. What's gonna happen? Like you have to be able to be self-sufficient. <laughs> okay, listen to me. <laughs> You are very self-sufficient. This is not the same thing. <laughs> I just, your look, I was like, did I just step into that? Sure did. Sure did. Oh my god, that was insane. I always like, because I've never been in like a full-time, long-term relationship for me, I've always been very like about like self-soothing and self-sufficient and like, that's like been my whole like life, you know? Wait, are you looking? I mean, I could be. I'm definitely not against anything. I'm Tell, look uh, I have a matchmaker vibe in me. So, Wait, are you serious? Well, first of all, when, with the, as a realtor, that's my job. I'm finding people looking, tell me what they're looking for, mm -hmm. and then I have to interpret that and find them the right thing. So I'm just wondering, like, what would you, what do you look for? I think for me, like, I I'm forget very... we're like doing a thing. I... <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's the fun part. I was like, I feel like that's the best like interactions, the best collaborations are when you're like, oh wait, I'm on camera, I completely <laughs> forgot. But for me, it's all about. I want to say that it's like, oh my god, I only care about like being kind and sweet. But like, honestly, like I want to be attracted to the person too. Yeah. I want to be like, you know, physically attracted to them. I want to feel like I have a future with them. I want them to be self, I want them to also be like driven. Yeah. You know, like a driven person, but also mm -hmm. like a family person. So I feel like I do have a lot of things in my, I feel like I'm kind of picky in a way. When it well, comes to things like that. But why not? Oh like, my why gosh, the fuck don't not? apologize for being picky. That's great that you are. There's I a would, lot of trash out there. No, there is. And I honestly, I've, I've come to the point where it's like, I'd rather be happy and alone than sad with someone. And I've kind of come to realize that as I've like gotten older and like, you know, I've been single like my whole life, right? So for me, I'm like, oh, and I've been happy and I've been successful and I've had so many amazing ups and I've had some downs obviously, but it would be nice to share it with someone, absolutely. Yeah. But I would never be with someone just for the sake of being with someone. Oh, that makes yes. Sense. Uh, oh my gosh, of course it makes sense. That's exactly where I'm at. Yeah. Same. And that's what's so good about feeling self-sufficient. I'm on vibrate. I'm over here fucking. What kind of professional? What kind of not professional? Ooh, am I, I'll tell you what kind of professional. Look at this face getting beat. <laughs> so don't care getting... about. We don't care about the ringer. Let's do the glam. Okay. Your phone can ring the whole time. Oh you my do god, this. you keep doing it. No, it's funny because I was just telling you off camera. I'm like, guys, whenever I'm glamming someone in a collaboration, because I'm so focused on like talking and glamming and making sure the camera's on and you're in focus and all that stuff, that I'm like, the makeup. 
It's cute. It's hard to do. Ooh, that's really pretty. pretty. I think it's better than cute. I don't even have mascara on yet. No, no, no. Of course not. You don't have a lash on yet. We're going to like really do you in. You know, we're going to really glam you. I feel like we should do like a brown on your waterline. Or, yeah. Like okay. Brown. But it's kind of like, a, I feel like the brown will look pretty. Oh my God. What is this? This is the Tarte Quick Stick. Rose gold and brown. It just went on. No, it like literally is so good. Butter. It's so good. And like the other side has like a Oh, I'm getting this. Yeah. Oh my I god. Will... Rose gold luster. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and it honestly like lasts really well. So it's a one way. Oh, I'm face. instantly obsessed. No, it's button. I'm side, used to like, you know. The scratchy and this has like the, the highlighter side that if you want to do like an inner oh, corner. That's so did you want me to do the top? Yes. Yeah, Can yeah, you yeah. please? Yes, of course. I love a little inner corner brightness. Love. I'm like, I'm gonna be the uh Set artist for Selling Sunset season five. Oh no. my god, <laughs> please! <laughs> that would be honestly like low key really dope though. That'd be a really cool experience. Oh my, you know what would be dope is if we had a glam budget. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of budget, can we have a glam budget please for these girls? That's no fair. Give them a budget. Oh yeah, I want to try your accent. <laughs> Give them a budget, babes. <laughs> babes, babes. Give them a budget. It's, it's almost fun. like where it's so bad that you're like, oh, this is great. But it's fun. Yeah, babes. Agreed. Agreed. Look at that little nose. Agreed. That's oh the cutest little nose I've ever seen. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> You're like, I, I apologize. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. <laughs> okay, so you, you can just go ahead and apply this. You can keep this one too if you would like it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You're gonna go. <laughs> Casual. It's Gucci. Dude, he just hands me Gucci, Gucci <laughs> mascara. Casual. Dude, I mean, freaking know they you. made the <laughs> mascara. <laughs> Oh my god. Whatever's in my skin, I'm always like, you just have it because oh. you know sanitary reasons. Oh so I just keep it. Yes, it's sanitary. No, it's I just sanitary. I have to you keep have this to now. Keep it because Sorry. it's for sanitary. Yeah, I just don't want to be Yeah, you don't want to be nasty. Yeah. And if you didn't <laughs> think that I would just start licking it. Yeah, of course you would. Okay, lashes on. Are you kidding? I'm ready. <laughs> you're like, you're like, I'm you ready. cannot tell me anything <laughs> right now because I'm just saying. You know I won't funny? hear it. I won't hear it. You want to do a little lit moment now? Mm -hmm. This part, obviously, hard you don't have to, to talk. talk. I know, no, trust me, it's, this part is I'm like literally so yes. handy and focused when I'm doing this too. I'm like, we're both gonna hold our breath and we're gonna say a prayer. Concealer. My hand see? is my palette. Absolutely not, that was a joke. <laughs> I have like this actual like major fear of like singing in front of people. Like singing for real, it's like trying oh, to sing. right. I have like a huge fear of it. Like I don't really do karaoke, I don't do any of that stuff. Well, I don't know why. I just it's can't. only fun when everyone's totally hammering. Exactly, I don't feel like then I'm not like, getting judged for it, yeah. like all that kind of stuff. I just have like this like stage fright of it. I don't know yeah. Why. But I'm also the type of person that like doesn't want to have parties for myself. Like I'm like, don't look at me, don't sing happy birthday to me. Really? Yeah, I don't know. I've always been like that kind of shy kid in that way where I'm like, don't watch me. Watch, watch my brothers instead. And here I am a YouTuber. That's <laughs> like, so really, funny. Where it's like about my channel. But yeah, but you feel comfortable and you're in your own space. Yeah, and it's also like just, just me. Different. It's the camera, yeah. you know? It's not too hard, but I'm naturally very introverted, that's why. Are you excited for season five, by the way, of um, telling? I... You're like... Mm. <laughs> That was not a bad response. Like I was this is my I, problem with reality TV. No, it's, I, it's I so don't funny. have a very good like poker face. You're like, <laughs> totally like I. Hmm. Well, I will say it will be a little bittersweet to watch the season totally. because um, you know we entered into the season I was mm -hmm. in love and totally, everything's totally. amazing. Yeah, as we know, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know. <laughs> the overall so well. Yeah, yeah. But that being said, we're. I love him. He loves me. We're supportive. We're friends. I love that. So I think, you know, we'll probably end up like watching it together. And yeah. like, you know, it's really like worked really hard to get it back to where, it, you know, it took work. It Absolutely. was Obviously there's feelings there. So anyway, I actually think, you know, it'll, it'll be hard to watch certain things. Yeah. Totally. Um, but I do think that it will help that we are so supportive of each other. Which we is want the amazing. other person to be to so succeed. happy. Yeah. Yes. That makes me really, really happy to hear that you guys are still very supportive of each other and just oh, 100%. care for each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yep. So oh, this lip on you. Oh, I can Looking see. sexy. Eat your heart out. Eat your heart out. Oh my god, that was so hot! You really Eat your heart out. giving me a, how am I going to fit out the door with this? This ego, I love it! it. I want the head to be so ballooned that you'll fly away. That's how what I want you to feel after you, I glam you, you know what I mean? That's like I the goal for I feel like any it. artist is like, to make your client feel like they just, like the yes. best version of themselves, you know? Yes. You look so sexy. I'm gonna start doing my lip like that. I'm telling you, it just gives you a nice little lift. Yeah. A little fullness oh, without it looking oh too wild, yeah. you know? Oh. A little pucker, if you will. I love you know it, I, mean? I love you it. You do a little spritz of setting spray. Yes, please set it, because <laughs> I, 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 I have plans, I don't know what they are yet, but, but I'm, gonna I'm making 
Uh, but yes. Absolutely. Okay, my hands are being made. Right. If it's shooting out too much, please tell me. <laughs> that shit, like, I look broken. I'm scared. Mom, I'm scared. Pick me up. That's literally me right now. I'm like, Jesus Christ. You spray like a rocket. <laughs> that's okay. the one thing I always forget to do. I so powder, then, but I don't do a spray. I just feel like that's it helps. You... I always do it only because like, I feel like with the powder, it can look really matte and powdery. Yeah. And I feel like the setting spray really helps give it like a little bit more life to it. It's like, yeah, we're set and yeah, yeah. we're matte. But at least there's a little bit more of a glow to the skin and not so like... Oh, yes, but I forgot to see what you did. Sorry, real quick. You did find it, but then when you set my, did you set it with the sponge in the powder? I did. I used the okay, puff. Okay, okay. I used okay. the puff. So and the then you do the spray. And then just right. So I feel like the puffs, like it doesn't disrupt anything. So okay. you place it, it doesn't disrupt anything, and it just gives like the fullest coverage of it. Like yeah. it really like lays down really well. And so now you should like be set. Like you shouldn't, there should not be any kind of like creasing happening throughout the day. None yeah, because I was doing the beauty blender with this. Oh, that's, that's, a, that's a good thing too. I just think the puffs, puffs are better. Okay, yeah. I'm a big puffer. Stealing all the- Yeah, not like that. <laughs> and what did you guys think? Was it not stunning? Thank I mean, you it's because you're so stunning. Thank you so much. You of are course. so, first of all, you are amazing. And I already <laughs> knew how talented you were, but <laughs> this was so much fun. Oh, I'm glad you liked it. Like it. After oh. you do something fun after and like go and like run around town. Oh yeah. Make a ruckus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're like, yeah, I, you're single. I know. You get to mingle. I'm gonna do some mingling. <laughs> yeah, actually, mingling will mingling. happen. Yes. Mingling is on the books. Mingle is our middle name. As of right now. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. You're an honorary YouTuber. You, you can it. do it all. Reality TV, <laughs> soaps, YouTube. I leave author. it to the pros. <laughs> leave it to the pros. But if you ever need someone to, you know, pop in and get a little glam. Absolutely. And, you know, say dumb stuff and laugh with. I'm <laughs> then your girl. you're the girl. I'm your Absolutely. Girl. I love it. Well, anyways, guys, we're gonna see you guys later and have an amazing rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And we'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah. Well, I'm gonna need to know this eyeshadow too. Oh yes, when it comes out, I will tell you. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. I always tell people if for any reason I accidentally die, you have to at least make sure my glam is on point. You have to do Baby, me a solid. I'm afraid that I don't yeah. Like you, then just take it right out. Yeah. Or like if somebody like starts an argument and I don't have makeup on, I'm so annoyed. I'm like I at least want to look cute. Like I'll wait to prove my point until I know I look glam. <laughs> I think it's glam. Oh, because you're so glad yeah. now. Yeah, before Chriselle would have been like, hey. <laughs> and now Chriselle's like. <laughs> oh my god. That was so You've good. You've done like, this to me. <laughs> you created it, a monster. It was, it was the turn to the. <laughs> the turn is what really got me good. It was the, see this cheekbone? Yes. Oh, let me just give you this sculpted. The, the sculpt? I love it. Amazing. Okay, bye Amazing. you guys. <laughs>